Aloha, folks! Welcome to the final part of Sonic Triple Trouble. We are going to be playing t with Tails for the last time in Atomic Destroyer Part 1. Uh, Atomic Destroyer is not so different from Electric Egg Zone in Sonic Chaos. Again, this is a pseudo-sequel to Sonic Chaos. So the final level is actually kind of very similar. You still have lots of switches that shoot lasers and release all these different bird enemies. In fact, the bird enemies was a boss in Sonic Chaos, if I'm not correct. But, uh, you know, it feels like a rehash of Sleeping Egg Zone from Sonic Chaos, but it's a lot more labyrinthy and it's a lot more confusing and it has a definite little, uh, it's got a bit of a maze to it. It doesn't make the level tedious to play, because we're not underwater, thank god. But, uh, you know, it's just something to watch out for. There are the occasional bottomless pits, and you will have to wait for platforms to levitate you over spikes and stuff. But it's nothing too bad. It's You would expect the final level of the game to be a little bit more challenging. Like Eggman Land and Sonic Unleashed challenging, but... <laughs> It's actually uh, fairly fine. Uh, when you know where to go, it's pretty simple, pretty easy going. When you don't know where to go, you're, you might spend maybe nine minutes traveling through the level. Oh, I'm not kidding. Sometimes the maze can confuse a lot of gamers. And uh, you're going to be finding yourself going in whatever direction you can just to find the exit. Because the thing with the pipes is, you jump into the pipe, and if you run into a four intersection part then you get to choose, or three intersection, either way, you get to choose which direction you go. You can go left, down, right, or up. And you want to go in the way that leads to the exit. And where, which pathway leads to the exit is a little bit confusing. It can be a little bit hard to figure out. But anyway, folks, that was the end of Tails. I will show Tails' slight very, well, it's not even different, but I'll be showing Tails in the ending as well. But uh, that's it for him. Sonic's going to be doing the rest of the game by himself because, well, he's got to be the one who saves the day at the end of the game. And, you know, it's been fun with Tails. It's been fun. I hope all the people who like Tails will stop bitching at me for saying, or for, for uh, not including Tails in all my playthroughs. I have nothing against Tails, okay? But I digress. You're going to see in Act 2 I get a little bit lost. I'm just screwing around trying to find out where the exit is. Uh, this is actually my first time playing Act 2 in a, in a long, long time, and I figured I'd record it. And it, it turned out pretty well. I didn't die. Or anything, so... <laughs> a lot of embarrassing hits, though, I must say that. A great thing about being Tails for Atomic Destroyer is that you can actually use his flying ability to skip a lot of the puzzles. Like, you, you can just find yourself flying to whatever area you need to go, and then you don't even need the platform pipes to, t to take you anywhere. But since we're Sonic, we're not going to have that flying luxury, I suppose. Again, I wish I knew what the Atomic Destroyer looked like from the outside. I'm not sure if it has any concept art somewhere, but uh, apparently this is the place, this is the machine that Eggman was going to use the Chaos Emeralds to conquer the world with. I don't know what the Atomic Destroyer is supposed to do. Is it supposed to be like a Golden High satellite and disrupt all communications and electronics on the land and make everything explode? Or does it roboticize animals with a giant laser? I don't know. Is this in outer space? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anything about the Atomic Destroyer other than it's a giant maze with pipes and... Eggman is a crafty, crafty bastard to create this, I must say. I don't see the point of those elevators. They should just be like insta transportation pipes or something, you know? Also, I like Atomic Destroyer's uh, little part here because you see me, I'm going down and left so that I can go and find the pathway that gets me out of here. A lot of people like to say Sonic is the game where you go right all the time, right? Like you do nothing but hold the right button and jump occasionally and Sonic games are easy because of that, blah blah blah. Yeah, maybe the Genesis games kinda are like that. I would say Oil Ocean would prove you wrong in Sonic the Hedgehog 2, but uh, this is one level where you actually have to go left. Robotnik Winter was one of the level, one of those levels too, but you have to hold left to find an alternate route that gets you more forward right-wise, you know? I like the level design in, in uh, Sonic Triple Trouble. 
Sure, it's not particularly challenging. I find this game pretty easy. But, you know, it gets the job done. I like it. This is where I get confused and I don't know where to go. <laughs> it's like I'm right next to the exit, but I'm just like, where the fuck do I go? And I'm like, oh wait, here I go. Booyah. So it's slightly confusing, but there's not enough bottomless pits and not enough enemies that I think the, the levels become a huge problem. It's the final level, but it's not really much of an issue. But, folks, we are now at Atomic Destroyer Act 3. We are finally going to face off with Eggman himself, not his cronies. Not his robot penguins or robot tortoises or robot killer trains. <laughs> We're going to face off with Eggman himself. So let's do it! Oh shit! Knuckles, Fang, we thought it was just gonna be him, those two, and Eggman, but look! It's Metal Sonic! Metal Sonic from Sonic CD has showed up once again to battle with Sonic! Oh my gods! <laughs> yeah, a lot of people don't know that Metal Sonic's in this game. Yeah, Metal Sonic. Uh, he's a fairly easy battle. He dives at you a lot, and you just go from... You know, you go to the side he dived to, jump as soon as he he's about to show up again, and you keep doing it until you keep hitting him and hitting him and hitting him. Eventually, Metal Sonic turns on his invincibility super boost mode, and then you just gotta keep jumping over him since you can't damage him. But then he takes it off and he starts diving at you again, because apparently it worked so well the first time. <laughs> this is technically the first boss fight with Metal Sonic, because in Sonic CD, you were sort of racing Metal Sonic and not really fighting him. But uh, this is the, te the first technical boss fight with Metal Sonic, where we're actually trying to defeat him in battle. And it would be a little bit more epic if Metal Sonic was a little bit harder to fight, honestly. I mean, all he does is dive at you, and then he turns invincible, and, uh, invincible? <laughs> invincible, and, uh, charges at you every now and then. But that's Metal Sonic. He didn't blow up because he's more than likely gonna show up again. One day. Not today, but one day. <laughs> Seriously, Metal Sonic should be a boss fight in every Sonic game. Eggman should just keep rebuilding him. Fang! The sniper! We meet again! Or not. <laughs> That's right, Fang gets scared away by Eggman's Eggmobile and he just hightails it. How lame. Anyway, folks, Eggman has a lot of phases to this boss fight. Uh, the first one, pretty simple, keep jumping on his head. Was that hard to do? Oh, I must- I imagine it must have been. The second part, he flies high in the sky, you have to keep hitting the bottom of his cockpit, and every now and then he's gonna shoot a giant flamethrower beam at you, and you wanna get out of the way of that. But he'll wear off, keep flying back and forth, and you just keep jumping into the bottom of his cockpit again. Again, like the first phase, it's not really much of an issue, you just keep jumping into Eggman, keep jumping, keep jumping, keep jumping, and you should be pretty good. Uh, one thing to keep note of is that when you destroy the flamethrower part, it will fall down and then it will explode. And the explosion actually hurts Sonic, so you gotta jump in time so that you dodge the fire. Now that the flamethrower part is gone, though, he has one electric ace up his sleeve. And he can't jump at him immediately, so you have to wait till the electricity wears off right before he's gonna fire his electro laser at you. And then you jump into him and the thing breaks off, and that's about it. Now we come to the hardest part of the final boss, and the final phase of the final boss. Basically, he's locked you in a room with four giant... with four energy ball lasers shooting constantly, and he's showing up on the left and right sides of the room, flying around in his Eggmobile, going, you know, counterclockwise. Or is it clockwise? I don't know. But, uh, you want to hit him every time he shows up, but the thing is, you're always constantly getting shot at, too. He will stop so that he can shoot a giant electric wave of energy. And, uh, you can go to the opposite side of where he's not to hide. But I just chose to bear with it and hit him anyway. Not too complicated unless you have no rings. If you have no rings, it's impossible. But we beat Dr. Eggman, folks! We got the last Chaos Emerald! We saved the day yet again! Oh, and look, he actually locked up Knuckles after his last failure. Are we friends now, Knuckles? Are we friends? 
Good. <laughs> and if your tails, uh, literally the en the ending does not change, the credits don't change, you still fight Eggman, and you still handshake with Knuckles at the end. So that's all that changes with Tails. But folks, that was Sonic uh, Triple Trouble. That was the game, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. It's, um, it's a little bit better than Sonic Chaos. I still think it's a little bit too easy for my tastes, and it's not something that is going to be hailed in the, in the Sonic, you know, canon as like one of the best games ever. But it's still a nice diversion, it's a nice Game Gear game, if you're ever on a bus with the Game Gear. Then, uh, I don't know why, because there are Game Boy Advances and DS's and PSP's now, why are you playing with a Game Gear? You know how much batteries those things eat up and how quickly? Good God. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with that. Uh, Sonic Triple Trouble has a fantastic soundtrack. It introduced Fang the Sniper, and a neat little new character. It's a, it's a decent game, it's just, you know, it's not amazing. It's not like, oh my god, the best game ever made! It's just, it's, a, it's an okay Sonic game, one I enjoy playing, but it is a little bit easy, and, uh... I do like the last level, though, I love the cameo from Metal Sonic, because Metal Sonic needs to be in more Sonic games. He really does. He, he, before Shadow came along, he was, you know, Sonic's evil, evil Sonic. You know, he was the antithesis to Sonic. He's a bucket of bolts. He shows no remorse. He's evil. But he's, you know, a robotic hedgehog. And he's super fast and strong. And he should be in more games. Seriously. He should have been a boss fight in Sonic Unleashed. He should have been a boss fight in Sonic Adventure 2 or 1. He should have been a boss fight in everything. You should fight Metal Sonic at least once per game. But that's just my opinion. Come on, Eggman. You got this awesome fucking robot. Why don't I use him more? I don't know. And Fang the Sniper had a very f lame ending, didn't he? <laughs> he just... He, he runs at the, at the mere sound or rumbling of a giant robot chasing him, so... Oh well, Fang's a coward and we'll be seeing him again in the near future. Fantastic music with Sonic Triple Trouble, though. Uh, so the next game in the series that I plan on tackling is a game I'm sure a lot of people haven't seen. In fact, I gotta get some time to get used to this game, so you probably won't see this LP for a while, because I'm gonna be getting used to it. But uh, it's for the Sega 32X. It is Knuckles Chaotix. This game hasn't even been released in a compilation disc for, like, GameCube or anything. Like, it's not in Mega Collection or Gems Collection. So, uh, this is gonna be a new one. Uh, I haven't played this game that much. I never owned a 32X. This is gonna be on an emulator, obviously, because the 32X is a piece of shit. But, uh... You know, I'm gonna be playing that next, and I'm gonna be, have to practice for it a bit. It shall be an awesome LP. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you enjoyed Sonic Triple Trouble. It's been a fantastic ride. But uh, yeah, see you with Knuckles Chaotix, everybody. I am the Great Clement. Toodles. Son of a bitch! You know what I've always wondered? How come when we insult women, we call them bitches, but never daughter of a bitch? We say son of a bitch, but not daughter of a bitch. It's confusing as all hell. I don't know what I'm saying anymore.